Hi you guys, welcome back. Today we actually had a question about how to use the Android Auto. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to download the Android Auto and also using it on the new 2020 Sonatas. All right folks, so I'm gonna show you where to locate and download your Android Auto app. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna locate your Play Store on your phone. We're gonna tap on the Play Store, open it up. Next, we're gonna be going into the search bar, which is going to be here on the top. And then we're gonna be typing in Android Auto. Now, once you start typing, it should automatically load up. You tap that. From there, we're just gonna press the install button. So once your app has finished downloading, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open it up. Now you're gonna see this menu right when you open it up and we're gonna say, get started. We're gonna say, grant permissions, continue. And we're gonna allow Android Auto to use your phone, uh, access your call logs, and give uh, your location for the navigation, also text messages for when you receive them, record the audio so you can voice uh, talk to the phone, and it'll access your contacts so everyone's all cleared up, and also your calendar. So once you do all that, you're gonna press continue one more time. Then from here, you're gonna have certain options, other people may have more, but what you wanna do is you just wanna turn on your Android Auto and press allow. Then it's gonna route you back to the app, just give it a second. So once you allow that um, permission to be granted, you're gonna press continue, and it's gonna be loading up the app, and now you're gonna be in. All right, you guys, I just showed you how to download the Android Auto app to your phone. Now let's take it to the car and put it into real life action. All right, folks, now that we've downloaded our Android Auto app, we are inside the vehicle. Now you will need to use your uh, recommended USB cord uh, to plug into the vehicle and also to your phone. Once you have plugged that in, you will get this message on your car screen. You're gonna press next. From there, it's just letting you know, install the latest version have a good signal strength and use an approved cable. Then we're gonna press OK. Now we're gonna be able to push our Android Auto app here and it's going to open it up. Now, if you do have some previous um, um, directions or if you have your house and home and work all inputted into your phone, you'll be able to see those on the left side here. We have this function here, which is pretty much your home button. So if you push that, it's gonna guide us back to our other options and other icons available for the Android Auto. So as you can see, we have our maps, we have our play music, we have our phone, we have calendar, we have reminders. So this app was actually updated a few months ago. So this is the newest version of Android Auto. You do have some settings that you're able to play with. You also have any third party apps as well, such as Waze and any other podcast that you have. You do have a voice recognition and you also have a reminder a notification button. And if you wanna get out of your screen and just go back to the Hyundai one, that'll be this function here. And it takes you back to the Hyundai where you can press home and your Android Auto is still connected. So any phone calls you receive, any text messages will still pop up on this screen. All right, folks, I just wanna give you a little heads up. On 2020 Sonatas that are equipped with the digital cluster display, you will be actually able to see some information on your digital cluster, and that some of that information will show on the bottom. So for instance, when I play the next track on my playlist, it will show the next artist and song of what's gonna be playing next. All right, you guys, thank you for joining us again. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, please comment, subscribe, like, and share and let us know what you guys want to see here at Pointe Hills Hyundai.